Alex here, back in the shed. I just want to do this little video explaining the uh, broken neck theory. And the best way for me to do that is visually. So here we have a camshaft out of a Ford 351 Windsor. Uh, this was back when Ford was making everything here. So this is cast American steel. Um, you can see how beefy it is. And I just want to show you how fragile something like this can be. So there you have it. Um, that's the reason why I believe in the broken neck theory. Um, you can see how thick this casting is. We don't have the exact measurement, but it's roughly a five millimeter wall inside here, even thinner where that little recess is. And I think with one drop, possibly the first drop, this thing would shear off no problem and shear off pretty evenly too because of how thin they have this section here uh, machine. Not here, the section between the emitter and the uh, wind vane. So I wanted to do this little video um, sharing my experiences in the past of the broken camshaft and why I believe it's the same thing happened to the B2. I hope that helps explain the broken neck theory. I think now with Dave's Photoshop analysis that it's pretty certain that this thing was together during A New Hope and that somewhere down the line it broke and uh, that's why the emitter spins today. But again, it's all a theory, but I have to say I stand behind Dave's um, evidence. So I hope this helps explain things or at least show you where I'm coming from. So um, I want to thank you all for watching. This is Halloax, out.